What is up, you beautiful people? Today is Sunday, March 26th, 2023. Today's video, as you've seen the title, we're breaking the monotony up of working out. Now, the number one thing when you are working out, when you are exercising, when you're trying to make this a normal day-to-day -day thing is you have to enjoy it, right? You have to enjoy the process. Now, for myself, I personally don't change my workouts up until every eight to 12 weeks. And for some people, that could mean boredom, okay? So how do you not get bored of doing the same exercises every 8 to 12 weeks? Well, number one is we change the set and rep ranges up, meaning that if I'm doing three sets of 8 to 10 one week, maybe I'll do four sets of 10 to 12. Um, sorry, if I do three sets of 8 to 10 for four weeks, I'll do um, four sets of 6 to 8, the, the following four weeks. And the reason I do that, other than to break the monotony up and to, so I don't go, get bored of doing the exercises, is so I could get stronger in different rep ranges. Okay, and I do this with my clients as well. And the reason, with my clients, we change it up every four to eight weeks. Again, changing the sets and reps up. And then around the eight week mark, what we do is we change their exercises up. We give them different exercises. Uh, so other than making sure that you're not bored other than enjoying it. The reason that we do this is so you could uh, grow into the program. And what does grow into the program means? That means if I were to, let's say you watching right now are my client. And if I were to give you a different workout, every single exercise and every single week, okay, it's going to be really hard to know if you're getting stronger or better with that exercise. And sore does not always mean better. Um, sweating more does not always mean better. Just could mean that you haven't worked out the muscles uh, in a very long time if you're sore, right? Or you're using heavier weight. And then number two, sweating could just mean that your heart rate is up. Um, it could mean that you didn't get enough water, you have too much water. Could be any of the, uh, all of the above. So in my client's application, I use the same application. What we do is um, we show them, let me see if you could see that, but basically what happens, there you go, zoomed in, over the weeks and times, you can see how much sets you did, how many reps you did, so that way, when they go into it the following week, the following exercise, they know if they're getting better from week to week, um, and they can get stronger in different rep ranges. Again, so if I'm getting stronger in, let's just say the six to eight rep range or eight to 10 rep range, and then in four weeks, we go to the 10 to 12 rep range, and I'm still doing the same exact weight, I have gotten stronger because I'm able to do more repetitions with the same weight, okay? So that's how I break the monotony up of, of exercise and, and working out and kind of, you know, it can feel like, you're just going through the motions at times. And I am here to tell you, if you do this long enough, every exercise and every workout that you do is not going to be fun. It's not, like I tell my clients, it's not gonna be a rocky montage, okay? You're gonna have to just grind through some, some workouts. You're gonna be really low energy when you get in there sometimes because a long day of work or just a long day period. And then on other days, it's gonna feel great. But more than likely, if you're working out like four days a week, might only have like one <laughs> about every week, okay? And that one, right, just hang on to dear life with it because they're far and few between, okay? But the most important thing is you stay consistent and you continue doing it. Now, another way and another thing that I like to do when I am kind of getting bored with the exercises and, and um, the same rep routines and whatnot is I like to include pause repetitions or pause, yeah, pause repetitions. I was gonna say pause sets pause repetitions, which means like if I'm here and I'm doing like a bench press and I pull to my chest, okay, instead of just going here and just going through the motion, or if I'm doing a shoulder press going through the motion, what I like to do is a pause, okay, so I'll pause here before I move back up through the motion. Another thing is like a slow negative, right, so instead of just kind of going through the motion, I could do a slow negative and then move it back up. I could do a slow negative, I could pause and move it back up. And the same weight that maybe you were using in the eight to 10 rep range is gonna be much harder um, in 
the, uh, by doing pauses or slow negatives, okay? And the last thing that I do in order to break the monotony up of workouts is I will shorten and lengthen my rest times for certain exercises. Meaning that if I'm getting bored doing the exercise I just showed you, goblet squats, over and over and week in and week out, and I'm doing the separate, same rep ranges for about four weeks or so, what I could do is I could shorten my rest time. So that way my, uh, you know, my heart rate gets up okay? and you, your endorphins start running a little bit more. Another thing I could do is if my, rep, uh, sorry, if my uh, rest time has been really short, I could lengthen it. Okay? I could, instead of resting like 60 seconds or 90 seconds, I could rest up to three minutes. So that way, like two to three minutes. So that way going into my next set, I could lift much heavier okay? and you'll get an endorphin rush another way. So these are all ways that I like to do and I like to actually also incorporate in my clients programs so they don't get bored doing the same routines day in and day out. All right, that's it guys. I hope you guys got a ton of value from today's video and uh, make sure that you are, you know, including some of this. I would love to hear what you are including in your workout routine so you don't get bored of doing the same things over and over. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this, and I'll see you on the next video.